How's it going everyone, Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. Today I've got a quick guide on how to get the Outbreak Perfected Exotic Pulse Rifle. I will also be including the steps you need to take to begin the quest even on a new light account. The Outbreak Perfected makes for an excellent exotic if you are newer to the game provided you're able to find a team to help with the zero hour mission at the end. I say it's an excellent weapon for new players but I think it's also excellent for any player to get their hands on it. It's decent in both PvE and PvP. As I've done in previous guides, I want to warn you that the last step of the mission is going to be difficult for a lot of people to complete solo, and therefore you may need to find a team, but all parts of the quest prior to the zero hour mission can easily be soloed. Before I get into the guide, if you end up enjoying the video or finding it useful, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm making my way to 100 subs and I truly appreciate anyone who decides to support my small channel. Alright, if you are a new light player, to gain access to the Outbreak Perfected quest, you must have unlocked the Titan Destination. The next step for anyone, including new light players, is to complete the Enemy of My Enemy quest line, which you may have in your quest tab. If you don't, visit Sloane and see if she has it under her abandoned quests. To complete Enemy of My Enemy, you will see a blue quest marker on the map of Titan. Just track that and follow the waypoint to start the first mission. These missions that you need to do are pretty straightforward, so no need for me to go into too much detail here. There are three total missions you complete to finish the Enemy of My Enemy questline. You'll know you're on the final mission because at the end you'll see a Hive Knight fighting a Fallen Captain. You can choose which to take out or you can take them both out, it doesn't really matter. But once that's done and you've talked to Sloane to finish off the quest, you are officially able to start the Outbreak Perfected quest. To do so, head to the Rig Landing Zone and follow the route shown in the video. Alright, so the Fallen Transponder that you found within the now unlocked room will require you to head to 6 different Lost Sectors to collect a node within. The first Lost Sector we will head to is the Widow's Walk in the EDZ. You can choose whether or not you want to clear out the Lost Sector, it isn't required. You want to head towards the Lost Sector chest. Once there, jump up and to the right into a small part of the broken building. Here will be the first node that you need. Next, head to the Atrium Lost Sector located beneath the church. Proceed through until you hit the first room of enemies. When you head down the stairs after that first room of enemies, there will be a small area off to the left, and the next node is at the end of that area. Then, head to the Drain Lost Sector which is located in the outskirts in the EDZ. This is a bit tricky, but just head into the Lost Sector and the node in this one will be located in a cavern-like section where you drop down and there will be a platform where you'll find the node. The final EDZ Lost Sector you need to head to is the Whispered Falls, which this node is near the start. Once you're in the Lost Sector and drop down, off to the right you'll see a green glow from a small cave. Here you'll find the node in the water. For the last two Lost Sectors you'll need to head to Nessus. Head to the Carrion Pit located in the Glade of Echoes. Head into this one and you'll want to proceed all the way to the Lost Sector chest. When looking at the chest, the node will be off to your right, but it's sectioned off by a wall that you can easily jump around. Once acquired, head to the Exodus Black area on Nessus and into the Rift Lost Sector. For this, you'll want to head to the final chest and if you turn around from the final chest, you'll notice some containers. The node will be located in the second one which you can jump into to grab the node. Alright, so that's it for the Fallen Transponder. If you inspect it, there is a large coded message when you hover over the center of the hexagon. Thankfully, this has been solved and it tells you where to meet up with Mithrax, a friendly fallen captain 
that has a time sensitive mission for you. To find him, go to the EDZ map and then load up the farm. When you spawn in, off to your right you'll see an entrance to a basement. Head down into that basement and at the very end you'll find Mithrax. Now before you head into this mission, it is going to be quite difficult to solo. Some footage you see now is from my solo completion while I was making this video, but it is not an easy feat without practice. I will leave a link in the description to the full run if you want to try it out for yourself and you want to use my run as a reference. If you want to get your outbreak as quick as possible, I would recommend asking some friends or hitting up an LFG to find a group to do this with you. The mission is a timed one, you'll have 20 minutes to complete it and it's broken up into a couple sections. In the first you'll find several areas with enemies that you must clear out to proceed. Careful as you'll encounter all energy shield types. After that you'll have a section containing false routes and jumping puzzles. Then once you finally get through that section you'll be at the boss fight in which you must kill all of the enemies and the boss to complete the mission. Alright, so some weapon recommendations. Whether you're solo or in a team for your kinetic slot, I think Wither Horde is a top tier weapon for this activity, and Mountaintop does well also. For your energy slot, I think a bow is super valuable here, as it has range and does a decent amount of damage, allowing you to pick off enemies from a distance. Then for the heavy slot, I use the Falling Guillotine in my solo run, as it can come in handy for the beginning enemy section and the boss fight. If you want, you could also use something like Xenophage, 1000 Voices, Temptation's Hook, or even a Grenade Launcher. Anyway, once you've completed the mission, you'll see Mithrax and be awarded your Outbreak Perfected. In the video, I don't get one because I've already acquired it, but you should get it after Mithrax has appeared. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.